Hey everyone, welcome back to the second video of the virtual car uh, tuning in Photoshop. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to lower the height of your car. Now, we can start by selecting the polygonal lasso tool. Just click and hold on the icon, the pop up menu will show, and select the polygonal uh, lasso tool. Now, what you need to do is basically select the entire body of the of the car except the wheels and the way we're gonna do it do that is the following just start from the front of the car just where the bumper ends and on the end of the image just somewhere around here and then you can click and start selecting the body of the car now just make small selections because the selection must be uh, done properly and then you can just continue going throughout the entire body of the car now if you feel some parts are too dark or you cannot uh, exactly see what you need to select or don't just don't worry about it don't select it just select what you think is is good for for selection and continue on just i'm i'm doing this roughly so i can save save some time on the on the video but you will need to do this properly just make small selections around the entire body just don't make jagged edges uh, all the dark parts like uh, above the wheels or below the cars you don't below the car you don't need to select just select the entire body of the car just like so if you somewhere along the way mess up like this and you want to just go back and redo just press the delete key and it will delete the last uh, point you you've added to the selection so mess up just press delete delete again delete again and you just go back to the proper selection you've made proper point so just continue selecting the car body like so i'm just going to do this roughly because I already have a selection made, this is just for me to show you how you need to make the selection. And when you end, uh, when you get to the end of the car, uh, just go ahead and select the entire uh, image above and on the sides, just like that. Click here. Let's go here. On the left. Scroll. You can unzoom if you want by Control minus. Clear and just connect the first point and then you have a good selection around the body and the uh, rest of the image now the reason we select the rest of the image is because we actually need to cheat the height of the car and, and basically drop down the entire image except the wheels and once you have that selection done just select the layer of the car press ctrl c make a copy and control V now you see it automatically drop down now to avoid that just hold shift when you press control V hold control shift and V and that will paste the copy where the selection was right so now we have a good copy of the body and the rest of the image except the bottom of the image and the wheels now select that layer you've made the copy you've made and basically what you need to do is just select it select the move tool and just start pressing on the down arrow key you can also use your mouse but that's not not good uh, and if you do want to use the mouse just make sure you hold shift so you bring it down in a proper line but the best way I think it's just using the arrow key down arrow key now you see we dropped down the entire body of the car now you'll see on the top because we selected the rest of the image just don't worry about it we're gonna cut that off later on and now we're gonna fix the small parts that don't look quite well around the wheels now to make this lowering a bit more realistic you first we need to fill in these gaps that open up because we lowered the actual body of the car now select the lasso the polygonal lasso tool again or just press L on the keyboard and just select 
the blank spaces that open up when we drop down the body just like so and all you need to do is fill this with black color because basically the inner panel was black so we just need to fill this black and to do that you can um, well the best way to do it is actually uh, press shift and F5 and that will bring up the fill uh, window pop-up window and just select black color and press OK so once again shift hold shift and press F5 and that will bring up the fill pop-up window you can select any color if or whatever color you wish because sometimes this uh, color might not, not be black it might be a little bit brighter grayish or any other color so just in the drop down select color and then select the color you want or you can just use the the picker tool that will automatically be given and select the actual color that you need to have and press OK OK and it will automatically fill up that gap to deselect the selected part just right click on it select deselect click on deselect or you can just press Control D on the keyboard of course you can always do some touch-ups remove some edges like so and there we go that gap is filled and that back end looks quite nice okay so the next part is to make this a little bit more realistic by adding some shadow because basically this this tire needs need to have a shadow on the top because the the body just dropped down on top of it and we can do that by creating a new layer or cl clicking this this icon right here that will bring up a new layer and then select the brush tool now the brush tool has many options just click on the icon hold it select the brush tool and when you right click anywhere on the image you'll get the options of the brush tool basically you can select the size of the brush the hardness the color etc and just select a decent brush size just so you can draw the shadow on the tire and select the hardness to 0% now you see we can just simply draw shadow on the on the wheel of course this is not good uh, I'm going to show you to how to do it properly to change the color of the of the brush you can just select the this box with a color which is the foreground color and change it but by default you need the black color now in the previous video I've showed you how to replace the rims and basically just above those rims you, uh, you create a new layer which is basically above the rims and below the body like this. so this is the new body and these are the rims so this is our new layer where the shadow will go and basically just draw the shadow on the on the wheel you see because the layer is below the body will drop down and above the rim it will just fit perfectly on the tire so there we go we just draw some good shadow on the tire to make it look more realistic and basically we just do the same procedure on the front end just select the gap that opened up like so fill it up with a black color below the of course create a new layer new new uh, layer below the body we've copied fill up with black shift F5 black deselect and there we go do some little tweaks to it if you don't feel the selection you did was nice just repeat the procedure and then create a new layer select the brush tool or press B on the keyboard it already remembers our presets and just draw a shadow on the tire like so and zoom 
not to see the results. And there we go. You can always do some tweaks. You can always do some changes on how you feel it should look like, but in general, these are the steps on how to lower the vehicle. Now, all that is left is to chop up, chop, chop off this top part that we destroyed by lowering the, the entire image, and we can do that by selecting the crop tool. Hold the key, the icon, and select the crop tool, and basically just select the part that we need and the rest it will be chopped off. There we go. So that's how we get a lowered height on our car. Uh, follow me in the next video where, uh, where I'm going to show you how to change the color of your car.